Libra, Libra, Libra. Hello, my beautiful air signs. Finally, I'm getting to you. The sun, I think, is coming in, you guys. So you might see a little bit of a glare. Let me get my glasses together from my from a glare from my glasses, but hopefully it won't distract you. So, Libras, the first thing that I get is there is something about signing contracts or something with longevity that is coming in for you guys. This could be signing business deals. This could be going into business with someone. This could be um, signing legal documents. Whatever it is, this is something that's going to be long term. So, I will say if you are coming upon something that you feel like um, you're going to be committed to or obligated for a while, make sure that you read over everything. If you have to get a lawyer to look over it, make sure you do that so that you get exactly what you need to get. I feel that there's something where you have to be careful that you're not signing contracts or making partnerships with people where you're locked in and you can't come out of it if it doesn't go your way. So some of you definitely could be dealing with legal matters. A few of you um, may be finding yourselves, I keep getting something where it's stuck in, closed in, locked in, or trapped which means don't put yourself in a position where you feel like you cannot get out of the situation. Don't sign something that's going to lock you down on something that you can't go ahead and get out of it, okay? I definitely feel that there is something with travel that's coming in for you guys. Some of you are going to find yourself moving out of a city, moving out of a state. Some are possibly, I feel like this is going out of the country, like this is major. You could be going somewhere where you're coming off of the mainstream, like you're not in the city, you're not in the midst of things, because I'm getting <clears throat> something with quiet. Maybe some of you want farms, some of you want property that is um, huge. Some of you might be even going off the grid, where it's almost like I don't want to be around a lot of people. I have a friend, Lucian, who has property, I think it's 100 acres, and um, he has a tiny house, and you probably, if you didn't know how to maneuver it, wouldn't know what the hell you were doing on his property. Some of you may be going into an environment like this where maybe you're creating something. This could even be for work for a few of you, but I definitely see moving somewhere where you're probably not in the mainstream. Could be country living, could be just getting a lot of land. So there's a move. I feel like there's something with packing up that's coming in. I do feel like there's an ending or a death of something that is coming to you guys, and it's because it absolutely has the end. There's something about transformation where things were working out, they're not moving in the direction that you want, and there's an ending that comes because there's something that has to begin over or something that is going to begin over. For some of you, there may be some disappointment with an environment, a situation with a person where it's like, I can no longer do this anymore, I can no longer connect with this because it doesn't serve me. So we're going to end it. I do see something with celebrations in marriage. Some of you may be finding yourselves... Um, getting married. Um, for a few of you, I don't feel like this is going to be any type of big wedding. I feel like this is something where it's like, okay, maybe let's go ahead and, you know, get our paperwork signed up. And it could be in front of friends. This could be in a little garden. This could be in a little somebody's backyard. But I'm getting really um, low-key, um, really compact, cute little weddings, which I think for some of you is exactly what you want. For a few, I feel like you're trying to get money together for a wedding, but for some, this could even be destination. A destination wedding where you're going and maybe only four or five people can go with you. And it could be because of travel restrictions. I am getting you dealing with a little bit of depression or kind of self-imposed bondage where it's like, I'm stuck in my thoughts or I'm stuck in a situation. I keep getting something where somebody feels like they're stuck, locked down, or there's nowhere to move around. So some of you are going to be battling and trying to really come out of this energy because it doesn't feel comfortable for you anymore. Now, there is something that's coming in where I feel like uh, there could be some depression that is going to get worse. There's also some mental instability. And some of you may, even if this is not energy for you, could find yourself caretaking someone who's really struggling with their mental um, uh, capacities. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be a co-worker. But I do, and some of you may even work in a hospital where this is what you do, but I feel like somebody who's trying to hold somebody else together or take care of them. This could be somebody doing this for you, or you doing them for this for them. I'm seeing that for a few, there's definitely new adventures that are coming in. Um, I keep getting the microscope 
are either you or things that you're doing. For some of you, this could be putting you in the spotlight. Um, you could have a ton of people looking at you, looking at what you're doing, what you got coming up next. You know, what what grand thing, Libra, are you doing out there? Because I keep getting something where you're out there and people are really like researching you, digging into you, looking into what you're doing. And for a few of you, I feel like this is a positive thing because you are growing and people want to know who you are. For some of you, this could be negative because I am getting gossip and other things with it, which means that you may have people that are looking for things that may not be conducive to your happiness or your growth. Um, there is something with stalking. Now, I do see taking away baggage or leaving baggage behind. That could come in with that death thing where if some of you are dealing with a heavier energy, you're walking away from it because it is, it's holding you back. You can't move or, or, or move around like you want to. So there is something with letting things go. Now, I am getting major addictions. For some of you, this is somebody that you're dealing with who has addictions. This could be alcohol. This could be drugs. This could be sex. This could be gambling. This could be eating. This is not someone you're dealing with. This is an energy that you're dealing with. And I will tell you that it's detrimental to your health and your money, which means that if you've been doing these things or battling these things, you need to go ahead and get a handle on it because it end up could it could end up causing some type of health issues. And the money could be because of treatments or medicines that you need to take. Some of you are trying to move away from these addictions where you are letting um, things go because you know that they're starting to cause problems with you. Um, it's almost like, because I know me, I have a sugar addiction. It's almost like, okay, I can't do this anymore because it's not good for my health. It's not good for my teeth. I'm gaining weight. It's not the right thing. Some of you are coming to the conclusion that some of the addictions or issues that you have are causing you problems in other parts of your life. And you're like, I don't want to do this anymore, or I don't want to have to deal with this anymore, Libras. If this is not you, this is definitely dealing with somebody who's close to you. Libra, Libra, Libra. I feel like somebody's trying to let go of something, but they're having a hard time. And if you are, reach out. Definitely reach out. Some of you are starting your own business. You don't feel like the money's there, but Spirit is saying you're not utilizing everything to the best of your ability. It's almost like, I want this to happen. I want this to grow, but Spirit is saying something's wrong with your follow through. So you may end up having to restructure, redo something or remarket something if you're putting out your own business. For some of you, if you're working for other people, I don't feel like that's fulfilling you. Some of you are going to be pulling away so that you can start something that is your own. And that could be going into business with someone and signing some type of contract. I say again, make sure that you know who you're signing stuff with, <clears throat> who you feel like you're connecting with. I get a lot of you feeling like there's limitations on you, but Spirit is saying that you can pull it through. You're your only limitation lever. You're the, one, you're the one that's holding yourself back. Libra, 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 Libra. All right, let's see. We got Eight of Cups. This could be depression moving on from something. We got Ace of Wands. I have to start something new, new beginnings. Eight of Wands, messages coming in about a move, moving away from something, selling things. We got the Empress card. This could be a mother, a female figure, a cousin. Very intuitive, somebody who's picking up on things. Now, it could be male energy, too. This could be somebody who's very psychic, very intuitive. They're feeling stagnant, or they're feeling like there's no, there's no movement forward. We have the Page of Cups, or Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the victory card. Let's see. We got the king of blades. We got the four of blades. We have the queen of wands. We have the six of coins. We have the page of cups. Let me see. Queen of pentacles. The tower card. The Chariot, let's see, Nine of Cups, we have Death, oh, ending. we got the Four of Cups, and we have the Devil card, let's see, that's interesting, and then Seven of Blades. So we got some stuff going on for a few beavers and then five of cups, something not working out the way you want it. Beavery, deception, 
And like I was saying before, addiction could be a part of it. Some of you could be dealing with an addictive personality, somebody shutting down. You have somebody who's offering help, offering comfort, offering nurturing, and somebody might not be able to deal with this because they have addiction issues. And then we got the seven of blades. We got thievery, deception, somebody trying to take away from another person. And then we got the five of wands, things not working out. Somebody feeling really sad because the things that they thought were going in their direction don't seem to be going that way. But we got the death card, which means that there's an ending that's coming so that a new beginning can come. Some of you are getting rid of this, in, this this energy. This, you know, somebody has addictions. They could be taking money away from you to feed addictions. Or somebody is taking money away from something to feed addictions. Their addictions may be making it where they can't go to work or they can't focus on work because they're too caught up on the addiction. So I feel like there's somebody in your corner that may be trying to help you or you could be trying to help them and that could be throwing your focus off, Libras. So let's get into it. Eight of Cups, not being happy, depression, wanting to move on from something. We got Ace of Wands. I need a clean, I need a clean start. Something that I thought was going to be really wonderful me for, for me is now causing me depression. It's causing me not to really look at things in a positive way. Some of you could have got some bad news that made you feel some kind of way, but it is showing with the Ace of Wands, you feel like it's time for you to start something new. Eight of Cups is literally like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm moving in a different direction. That door is open and the person is like, I think I'm going to go ahead and walk through it. Now, they could be going out there where I said there's a lot of land or property. Some of you could be moving away from a situation that is very depressive for you. You don't feel like there's any more need for you to be here. New beginnings are there. And then with the Eight of Wands, we get messages about moving. This could be in an environment. You just don't feel comfortable. You don't want to be there anymore. Some of you are going to be packing up, like I said, moving to a different city, to a different state, possibly a different country. And it's because you are looking for a brand new beginning. It's almost like I want to go where people don't know me. I want a clean slate so I can start over. And it could be because you felt like there was something that you put energy into and it didn't work out. Some of you, this could be a job. Where you tried something it didn't work out and now here we go back at the drawing board there's something that you thought was going to open up for you and it didn't so there's a pullback so now i'm going to move forward there's messages about changes that are coming in and for some of you this is going to be about selling your property or moving now we do have the empress card and for a few of you if you are dealing with a female some of you could have a female that's deciding i don't want to do this with you anymore you could be dealing with somebody who is going through some type of addiction issues or depression and they're like, you know what, I don't want to I don't want to do this anymore. Some of you may have children with this person, may have thought about this person as a wife. For some of you, this could be a wife or you pulling away. You pulling away from a female or a female pulling away from you, Libra, and it could be because things are not the way that they thought that they were going to be. Um, there's some stagnation that's coming in. Somebody is like, I can't. My, my intuition or my spirits are kind of not working with me the way I need them. If this is not their energy, this could be your energy where there's the stagnation. Like, what's going on? What are we doing? I feel like somebody's divining on a situation how to get out of this, whether this is them personally doing it or going to someone else or talking to their ancestors. Somebody's like, things are not working out for me, spirit. How do I move forward? How do I get things to go to the direction that I want to go? Because I feel like things are being cut off and I got to walk away from it. For some of you, it's the ending of maybe um, a relationship with someone. For a few of you, you could have someone that is literally deciding, this is not working for me anymore. I'm giving birth to something new. This could be an actual baby for some of you. But for some of you, I feel like this is a new beginning. I'm closing the door on something and I'm starting over definitely clean slate and you could even be telling people this that I'm moving forward this could even be somebody coming to you and saying you know what it's time for you to, to move it's time for you to walk away I do feel like there's something intuitively where either somebody is watching you or um, dealing with looking through some of the things that you have like they're trying to find something on you I keep getting this majorly and some of you may even feel this where it's like you're being watched. Now, like I said, for some, I don't feel like this is absolutely negative because I feel for some, this is public recognition, people seeing you, knowing what you're doing. For a few though, there is some issue with maybe somebody trying to dig up something on you that could be um, 
a little bit dirty, Libra. Be really careful with who you're dealing with. The Tower moment is showing something breaking down. And it could be because of something that was discovered. Could be because of addictions. Could be because of deception, thievery. So there's an energy of something falling apart because something did not work out in a way that it was supposed to. And it could be, especially with the blade cards, it could be our problem. Some of us may be dealing with really bad energy and we keep self-sabotaging. Self Every time we try to make a movement forward, we self forward we so sabotage now this will not be everybody it will not because i feel like there's an energy where someone is trying to get past this the death card is showing transformation and ending let's move forward let's get out of this for someone there is this thing of pulling away i'm tired i'm exhausted it's time for me to take a trip it's time for me to go somewhere for a few of you this could even be that move I need to pack up and go somewhere else, start something over because I feel like I need it. And for some, there's victory there. It's like I need this new beginning, whether this is a new job, new relationship, or even just a whole new environment, Libra. Some of y'all need this victory. It is showing that you could be connecting with a fire sign person that helps bring this to you. For some, it could be um, a water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some, you could even be connecting and doing a business with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person. There's something with bringing money into a situation for new beginnings, and it could be an age difference between you and this person. If they are earth sign um, or water sign, I feel like that you could be younger, they could be older, or vice versa. You could be older, they could be younger. For some of you, you may even be starting a family with somebody who is a business partner. Um, new beginnings. I do feel, though, that there is definitely going to be an end of some type of stagnation and some of you are going to end up seeing yourself go through a major life change where you're walking away from a lot of things that you know are new to do something differently and some of you this is going to bring you success it's going to be like okay people will see me i do see court and legal issues with um some this could be going back to court for child support this could be a settlement this could be um, with the seven of blades and somebody robbing somebody this could even be criminal cases um, there is definitely something that is coming in that may not go the way you want with the five of cups it's almost like okay I'm grieving something because I have to deal with something so you may have somebody who comes back in and it's like, look, you owe me money. You don't want to pay the money. I'm going to sue you. Or you took something away from me. I see you. You've been deceptive. You lied to me and I'm going to sue you. This could even be you doing this to somebody else. Libra. It's a general read. Basically showing something you thought was going one way may not go the way you thought. Which takes me back to that contract of signing things looking over things before you sign it because you could get into something where you feel like okay somebody played something they played me and now they're taking my money and this could be somebody coming to you and saying you played me and took my money and now we got to go to court i want some type of justice done it is showing for a few of you that you may have to deal with this tower moment and it could have been that addictions had something to do with it gambling i wanted to take somebody's money Maybe being under the influence and not realizing that some of the things that you did were not right. Uh, it could be even dealing with somebody where they signed some things and they weren't in their right mind. Could have been smoking a little weed, drinking a little something, but whatever it is, it brings to a tower moment that may lead to a legal situation. Some of you may even be disputing some type of legal situation, especially when it comes to money. I keep getting something with money, money, money. Be careful with the people that you're dealing with. Be careful with the people that you're dealing with. I do feel like there's going to be some help that's coming in. If you do owe something, Libra, some of you are going to be getting some type of financial upswing where this is a loan or money coming in. And I feel like it's because you got major changes that are coming in. Some of you, this is spiritual growth. This is financial growth. This is opportunities that are coming in that bring you to a better place. You could have friends that say, I will invest with you. You may be looking at other investments. There may be loans and things that help you with this new beginning that put you out there. Some of you, I do feel that there is something that is gonna bring you back into the spotlight and you could be dealing with 
a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but when you look at this card, this is somebody who's getting their picture taken. It's like, do you know who I am? You could be on YouTube, you could be on Facebook, you could be on IG, and it is showing that you are going to get some type of financial help that maybe boosts you, or either what you do will boost your income. So say you are some type of YouTuber or Instagrammer or Facebook Live person, it looks like there's something that you're going to have that comes in that boosts you, puts you in front of people's eyes, and they're willing to support. There's money that's coming in from it. So I do feel that there's an ending in the transformation. It's because something was no longer working for you, and it's bringing in a new energy for something to start over, something to begin again for some of you. This is recreating yourself, re-establishing yourself, putting yourself out there again. I didn't like the way things were going. I was in this energy where things were not working out. I felt like I needed to move on. And now I'm putting myself into a new energy where I'm recreating myself and creating opportunities for me, and it's a clean slate. And I saw this with somebody else. I can't remember. Let me see. It could have been with Virgo. So you, you might be doing this with an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, where it's like, okay, let's go ahead and, and connect and redo something. For some of you, this could just be my focus is on money. I want to bring in money, so I'm cutting away distractions. I'm cutting away things that I have to deal with. Some of you, there could be a legal situation that closes a door for you, and you're like, you have no choice but to start over again. For a few of you, I feel like there may be a cut, a cut down where the tower moment is something with addictions, where you're leaving somebody because they have addictive personality. Some of you definitely are going to be dealing with somebody who's having some type of mental, um, I want to say fluctuations, where you may be feeling like this is a little bit too much for me. I need to move on. If this is your energy, you might even be saying... I don't want to feel like this anymore. I need to do something different. And I completely get that because I go through seasonal depression. So some of you might be in the midst of that where it's like, I feel some kind of way, but I don't want to hold on to this energy. You do have new beginnings that are coming in, Libra. And it looks like for a lot of you, the victory is there because you're moving towards a more positive energy. But you may have to deal with some tower moments before you get there. And I know a lot of people don't want the tower moments, but sometimes when we're dealing with spirits and ancestors, we have to go through certain things so that we get to the victory. And some of you, this is spirit connected. This could be spirit saying, look, you know, we got some things we need to work out, but once we work them out, you're smooth as gravy. For some of you, though, I do feel like there's major changes that are coming in that will feel like a complete transformation. Some of you are seeing things that you created that used to be important to you die. And it's like, you know what? Those things are not important to me anymore. I don't feel like I need to hold on to that anymore. And it's because I have new things that are coming in. I have a move that I'm getting ready for. I'm about to go build a house somewhere. Or I'm moving my family to a whole different country where we're starting over. You got to be careful that if you have anybody who's dealing with this energy, that they get this stuff fixed before you get there. Because if there's alcohol, drugs, food, sex addictions, if there's something with deception and thievery, this stuff could follow you. So the tower moment is showing something breaking down so something can start over. But if you're dealing with an energy and you're not getting help for this or you're with somebody who's not getting help, you might have to deal with this energy where you go. And I would say shut it down. Shut it down, Libras. Some of, some of us are going to feel like we can't deal with it anymore. A lot of times, too, I feel like there could be this energy of taking care of someone, but it's causing a depression. There's something that's not working out, but there's major change. And I feel like it's almost spiritual growth. And that's sometimes how it feels. You feel like everything falls apart before everything falls back into place. For some of you, there's definitely an ending. And I feel like you know it. You could be a diviner. You could be somebody that's already looking into it. Like, I know it's coming, and I'm going to try to navigate it. For a few of you, I definitely feel that you got to get past that energy that is kind of weighing you down. I feel like somebody's taking off their baggage and saying, look, I'm leaving it here so I can move forward, so I can go towards this new job, so I can go towards a new relationship. Because for a little bit, it looks like you were shutting down. 
or either just shutting down an aspect of your life. Like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And for some of you, this could be somebody shutting down things with you. Like, you know, we can no longer go any further. This is as far as we're going. And now you go your way, I go my way. And for a lot of you, it may have kind of put you off a little bit at first. But then I do see that you're moving forward because you feel like I have to. You know, this new beginning is there. I need things to change. Some of you could be um, looking in on a mother figure, taking care of someone that has children or a child, and it could be because they're going through some things with depression. Um, some of you, I feel like this is caretaking someone. If this is not you caretaking them, they could be trying to caretake you. But I'm getting the energy of, I gotta take care of you and make sure you're all right. Are you okay? Are you gonna be okay? Let's, let's get back in line. Let's do what we need to do. For a few of you, you could be trying to nurture someone. Some of you are going to find out that you have babies coming. Now, I do feel with the chariot card, there's this forward movement. Like, I need to do this. It's exciting. I feel like a child again. And if you look in the background, these people in the back are kind of complacent. The same routine over and over again. And this new energy is coming in. And I feel like you guys are going to be really excited about it. There could be travel vacations involved with this, but I definitely feel new beginnings that are coming in air signs. And some of these new beginnings are really gonna lead you to a place of financial upswing. You know, it's one of those things where you gotta cut cords, leave behind baggage, let things die so that the good things can come in. Now, if you are in front of the camera, I feel like some kind of way, even if you try not to get back in front of the camera, like I'm shy, I don't wanna do this, some kind of way, I feel like if you're very charismatic or you have that kind of personality, you're going to find yourself back in front of the camera. There's some growth. There's public recognition. There's people looking out for you. So there's going to be some things where it's like, I don't want to do it, but people are like, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's do it. So you may find yourself teaching classes, you know, performing. Um, if you are a, a, a diviner, you could be, you know, tarot cards on YouTube or whatever. You could be crystal balls. You could be teaching classes. Make sure, though, that if you're signing up with partnerships that you read paperwork. I keep getting that, like, drilled into me, you guys. I do feel like there's a shutdown with emotions for some people around you. So some of you may be connecting um, with this energy of walking away from friends. You know, we're no longer friends. I don't feel your energy anymore. I don't feel the connection there anymore. There could be something where it's like I don't see us progressing. Um... And it may need to be that way. Some of you, there could be a falling out because of a class or education. Because we got an air sign and there's two people arguing and there's a mediator there. And it's because of apprenticeship or education. Some of you may be having things taken away from you. You may be deciding to withdraw from school or classes or vice versa, being asked to withdraw. But there's definitely some type of education or something with education that causes some type of arguments with you guys. Something that you feel that may be affecting your money with the aid of coins. It's like, okay, look, I have knowledge to share, but I feel like I'm not able to. So there may be some type of disputes that you're having with some people around you, and it will affect money for some of you. Now, like I said, you do have money coming in. Choose your battles wisely, Libra. If it's not worth it, walk away from it. Start your new beginning. For some of you, if it is worth it, there may be some type of legal situation that you have to deal with with money with standing your ground with someone. Some of you definitely are gonna be dealing with some type of court case, legal issue. Um, there could be an ending of friendships or business connections that are coming because of disagreements. Maybe two people going in two different directions now. But I do see opportunities coming in to make money, to shine, to put yourself out there. But you gotta navigate the bullshit, Libra. You can't connect with everybody can't sign everything you can't be a part of everything sometimes we get out there and it's like I want to do it I want to do it but you got to make sure that what you're deciding to do is something that's going to be beneficial to you some people are quick to join in on things that literally are not beneficial you need to really look at the people that you're connecting with some of them are not all good for you Libra and some of them are going to affect your money or your reputation so I will say be careful the growth is there the financial upswing is there some of you are going to find yourself very very um, big in a community where you could be star status, fame status, but you got to start navigating the people that are around you now because some of the wrong people can cause delays 
and a little bit of destruction, tower moments before you have to pick yourself back up. Nobody wants to have to keep starting over and over. Again, get your plan, get your structure and make it happen because for a lot of you, it's gonna take you really, really far. But you gotta be ready for it and you gotta have that discernment. Use your intuition. The people, no more, you know, I think, I think, I think. Let's focus on who's right, who's wrong and navigate around it. All right, Libras? I hope this makes sense. I love you guys. Please be safe. Mwah.